Hello everyone, welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today, per your request, I'm going to be swatching all 12 of the beautiful Elate Cosmetics lip color lipstick pencils. That is their technical name. I just call them the lip crayons, whatever you have. Their lipstick offering. I did just do the Elate One brand tutorial. That was my last video in case you guys missed it. I'll link it down below so you can see some more Elate products in action. And per the announcement of them dropping on the website and that video, the number one request was of course the lip pencils. I think we all love a lip option. It's something that you can afford to have quite a few of in your collection and still feel like, you know, they're each different from one another. So I totally get you there. So before we jump into all the shades and the formula and all of that fun stuff, I did quickly want to mention that we are still offering a wonderful gift with purchase. With any $40 Elate Cosmetics purchase, could be any item in the product lineup or more, of course, you will get the Serene lip pencil free and Serene is a really beautiful neutral rosy tone that's great if you want a more nude lip option or to just add to the center of something a little bit darker and give it a little bit of depth and dimension just use code Serene at checkout I will make sure I have that listed for you down below as well and not only that I did want to mention that if you want to see these colors swatched on a deeper complexion we've got a two-part video on our Instagram make sure that you were checking that out as well just as another option to see the shades swatch but I wanted to jump on camera speak a little bit about the formula because it is one of my favorite offerings in the Elate lineup which is why I'm so excited that we are doing this wonderful gift so they look a little something like this they are these wonderful wooden sharpenable pencils I love that on the bottom you are able to see what shade you are working with and what I do also love is that the shade on the bottom is so very accurate to the shade inside so I just think that's phenomenal they retail for $25 they are a vegan and gluten-free formulation that does come in 12 wonderful shades I'm gonna be putting it on my lips here for the video sake but if you want to see them all swatched in relation to one another six at a time I do always include some swatch photos down below as well now what's really special about these is that they somehow manage to be really creamy and hydrating, easy to apply without bleeding and being runny or being very glossy and, or um, kind of easily transferred. They still last quite a decent amount of time on the lips, especially the darker shades. That's kind of something that's just true with all lip colors. The darker shades are more pigmented, so they leave sort of a stain behind. On me personally, you might be wondering why it's so soft on my lips. I did apply a lip balm first, then just gently apply this product and rub it into my lips. I like that I'm still able to define the lip line, but get that much more soft color that I prefer on me personally. So I just love the versatility. You can layer them with one another, which I love as well. But the formula, richness, and color payoff from these, just wow. I mean, seriously, it's hard to find really beautiful deep tones of red without any artificial coloring so i really really appreciate that elate has done this and we get quite a nice variety of really really neutral pale shades into your more easy to wear mid-tone mauvey pinks and then quite a few deep dark offerings definitely something for every single skin tone so some of the active working ingredients in here are rice bran oil there is also mica as the colorant there's vitamin e as well as coconut oil so they have a really nice balance of being hydrating and almost have like a silicone slip to them where you could see um you will see at least when i start swatching these shades i kind of rub my lips together and really transfer these shades but they manage to have, still have a sort of satin finish. So they're not overly matte, they're not very glossy, and in turn that gives it that hydrating yet long wearing formula. So I am an enormous fan. I did quickly want to mention that 
because they are sharpenable pencils, they are a little bit of a chubbier stick. If you don't already have a sharpener, they do have a great aluminum offering that has the smaller eye pencil sharpener as well as the larger chubby pencil, something like this. Um, so if you don't already have one, I've always been more of a fan of the aluminum or metal offerings as opposed to something plastic. I do just think that they work a little bit better. So just something to keep in mind. Now let's just jump right into it. I'm going more or less lightest to darkest here. And also bear in mind that just because I'm applying these shades doesn't mean they all look good on me, okay? Something for everyone, just be nice to me because some of these I was like, oi, I don't know. I don't know if I want that on the internet, but now it is immortalized forever. So let's just jump right into it. The first up is giving me all of the 2000s vibes and this is the shade Enigma. Enigma is this pearlescent pink. Now on me, you know, this is never going to be the color I wear all over. However, I like this slightly metallic finish for doing a little bit of lipstick layering, which they encourage with these formulas. They layer beautifully with each other. In fact, I layered in my tutorial, which you guys can watch, which is also linked down below. So a really nice frosty pale pink giving very Bratz doll. If you're trying to channel those energies, this is going to be the one for you. Then we've got the shade Thrive. Thrive is one that I know I would like if I had a darker lip pencil with it. It is a more peach toned, very, very pale shade. However, I just like these more peach tones on me because it is so richly pigmented. It definitely washes me out. So this makes a great layering option. Or if you like a very nude lip and on you personally, that's wonderful. And I think this would be a great one, honestly. Getting into a little bit deeper shades, we've got Serene. Serene is going to be the one that you can get free, again, with any $40 a late purchase. And it is this really beautiful, still quite pale, leaning a little bit more neutrally rose. So we've got a little bit more pink and mauve than peach as opposed to these other shades here. So it's a perfect kind of works on everyone in varying degrees option. Then we have the shade Ardent. Ardent is described as a plum toned pink and it is very much that. It's got a lot more purple to it. So it's a really true mauve tone. This is something that I actually like on me for an everyday wear. This is more my kind of nude lip option. So if you have more medium leaning skin tone, I think this might be one that you really love. Then we've got the shade Immerse and Immerse is quite a bit darker. This is going to be that um, 90s supermodel sort of lip color. It's mauve, but it's got quite a bit of brown, almost a gray tone to it. It's a little bit deeper in tone, but if you have a dark complexion, this would be a really, really pretty nude option on you. And then we've got the shade Honor. Honor is really beautiful as well. I used this in my last video. Honor is a little bit deeper and a little bit more purpley than the other shade. The other shade is almost a little bit more gray. This is a little bit more purple mid-tone to it. Then getting into the warmer shades, the bolder shades, this is the shade Koi. Koi is the shade I've got pressed into my lips right now. Koi is just the most beautiful true warm red. If you like MAC Lady Danger, I always try to make modern sort of conventional equivalents for you guys that you would definitely love that shade. Something a little bit deeper, a little bit more neutral in tone is going to be the shade Darling. This is probably the most wearable red. It's almost that more strawberry-like red that I think isn't intimidating. It works on every single skin tone. It's not too bright. It doesn't make your teeth look yellow. It just checks all of the boxes. So if you were looking for a good red, I think you would love that one. Moving right along, if you like a more cool toned option, Marilyn Monroe-esque red, MAC Ruby Woo, I think that you would love the shade. It's the shade Prim, and it's just a little bit more cool toned. We're still living in that neutral family. This makes your teeth look super duper white, as all cool toned reds do. Just another fuss free, really easy to wear. And these are so great if you're looking for a red lipstick, particularly because they don't bleed and you do not need to find the matching lip liner. Just get a nice, sharp point on that pencil and you're able to outline the lips before you fill it in. Then we've got the shade Indulge and Indulge is really beautiful. This is a little bit more my speed. It's a little bit more brown toned. So we're getting a little bit deeper and darker, a little bit more brown toned. I sort of lean 
towards shades like this in the oncoming uh, fall, autumn months, things like that. But this is something we're pressed into my lips. I like this as an everyday option. This would be another really fun one to mix to get that really wearable um, brownie tone, but you can lighten the color a little bit. Then we've got the shade Infinite. Infinite is a really deep, dark, very brown shade. The other one almost have like a little bit of strawberry kind of purple tone to it. This is just almost a true brown with a little bit of that brickish red. Again, it reminds me very much of fall. It is surprisingly very, very wearable. And this is one that I just love on a medium to deep dark complexion. And finally, we've got our deepest shade. This is the shade Revere. This is our burgundy option. So this is just a quintessential, gotta have it in your collection. What I appreciate, appreciate about this shade particularly is sometimes these shades can be really patchy just because they're deep and dark. This, you get a nice even coating without having to go back and forth a million times. It doesn't look patchy and it's just a really beautiful, true berry tone that again, looks good on everyone. So that is it. That is all 12 shades. If you want to see them swatched on a deeper complexion, please do not forget to check out the Instagram video down below. If you want to see them swatched on my light to medium complexion, I also have those swatch photos down below for you. And if you enjoyed this video, you I know a lot of you wanted to see these items swatched, and please give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe because more elite reviews are coming. Um, the description box is going to be nice and heavy on this one, you guys. I'm also going to include the one brand tutorial I just did. And I would love to know what product from Elate you would like to see me review next because they have so many exciting products. I'm really, really excited about this launch. And I know a lot of you are longtime Elate lovers as well. So I am so very happy to share. So thank you all so much for requesting this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out all of our social media that I always include down below as well. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you need a recommendation recommendation, definitely do not hesitate to leave me a comment down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the consistent love and support, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye!